Hello and welcome back to UiPath Expo Hub where experts meet. Today we are into chapter number 7 Introduction to Orchestrator Q. I would request you please do like the video and comment your questions to discuss and let us know what you felt about the video. So let's get started. As I said we are into the introduction of Orchestrator Q or Qs in Orchestrator. So let's see understand what is a Q. So in general sense we know the meaning of a Q. In orchestrator, queues are nothing but containers that can hold an unlimited number of items. So to start with, let me give you an example. In a bank, right, when you have to process several transactions for several customers, right, what you generally do, we put that into a queue and start processing each item, each row one by one. So try to put, try to imagine all your data in an Excel file and each row becomes an item okay each row in an excel file becomes an item for you which contains several data and then you process that each item you know in a queue manner one by the first in first out right so that is the meaning of a queue in orchestrator they call it as a container that can hold an unlimited number of items so if i ask you how many number of uh, rows you can process in or through orchestrator the answer is unlimited unlimited data can be processed so that is the advantage over orchestrator queue now the orchestrator has also a different work where it distributes that item into several robots that is there in your environment so let's understand that in bit de detail so they follow something called the dispatcher and the performer model so the dispatcher is responsible where the data is fed into the orchestrator queue which is in cloud right which is in cloud so you create a workflow and couple of activities that you will be using and you will be transferring the data from an excel file or from an application to the orchestrator queue and once the data is uploaded to orchestrator queue the queue has an intelligence which can distribute that work to several robots and process that item so the model would look something like this you know where the items to be fed into the queue are lined up and through the dispatcher workflow we are going to dispatch those line items into the orchestrator queue and from the orchestrator queue which is called the performer stage where it will distribute the data into several robots that is there in the environment for example you have got thousand different transaction items which you have to process so what you first do you upload uh, you know let's say those data is there in an excel file let's say invoice processing so all the data is there in an excel file so you upload the data into the orchestrator queue and then the queue would understand okay i have got some thousand items so let me distribute 100 items to all the all the robots there are 10 robots let's say and is going to distribute 100 items to each of the robots and then it is going to process that so again the distribution is done in a very logical manner whichever robot is available according to that will be distributing in a intelligent way so let's see that in detail in the upcoming chapters but you should have this model in your mind you know how what is a dispatcher model and what is a performer model in orchestrator queue okay now there are several activities that we have to learn to master queues in orchestrator one is the add queue item add transaction item so this is nothing but uh, dispatch a stage where you are uploading the data to the queue using these activities get transaction item is nothing but downloading the data for processing similarly you have got postpone transaction item set transaction prog progress set transaction status so all of these activities we are going to learn in detail because this is the most required one and we must understand the dispatcher and the performer model in the upcoming chapters so this is just an introduction to orchestrator queue or queues in orchestrator so let's see let's continue to the upcoming chapters and understand everything in detail please do like all the videos while you watch and please do comment what else you would like to see in the upcoming videos thank you so much you guys have a wonderful day